Hey everyone, hope you're doing fantastic today. I heard you guys are wondering what the best NVIDIA driver is. Me too, so I went to do some research and found this instead. Well, it's safe to say that this didn't help with my decision making, so I decided to test all NVIDIA drivers myself. I went and downloaded all drivers released between 2024 and 2025, ranging from version 552.44 to the most recent 566.36, and in this video, we'll finally figure out which one performs the best for gaming. But before we get started, I want to mention something very important. And to avoid yapping for five minutes and waste your time, I'll just put it on the screen for you. Did you read it? Good. Now let's talk about the tools and the game we used for our benchmark. We'll be using CapFrame X, NVIDIA FrameView, and LatencyMon to capture specific metrics required for the benchmark. On the other hand, we've got NV CleanStall and Display Driver Uninstaller, which will help us install the driver correctly without bloatware and telemetry. We'll be testing all of the NVIDIA drivers in Fortnite while running Windows 11 version 24H2 with core isolation turned off, and here are my system specs. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. First things first, I'll walk you through the method of testing each driver, starting with Display Driver Uninstaller. For this, we'll need to go into Safe Mode. You can do this by going to the Start menu, then Power, and hold Shift while pressing the Restart button. Once you do this, you'll be greeted by a blue screen. Yeah, not the bad one. Click Advanced Options, then Startup Settings on the second one, and finally press 4 to boot into Safe Mode your PC will now restart and we're ready to uninstall the old driver. Simply go to the DDU app, click on GPU and select NVIDIA, then click Clean and Restart. I recommend unplugging your Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi adapter at this point, so Windows doesn't install a new driver automatically after your computer restarts. Once you're done with this, open up NV CleanStall, select a driver of your choice and click Next. Leave only the graphics driver ticked and click Next again. For the last step, without wasting your time, we'll apply some quick settings. I already made you guys a ready package that will apply those automatically when you install the driver, so please download it from the description below. If for whatever reason you don't want to do this, simply click next, then click install, and you're done. Now let's get to test the drivers. I booted up Fortnite and hopped into a benchmark map, then ran each driver three times to try and minimize run variance, then aggregated the results into one. I have to mention that all these tests were done using the default NVIDIA control panel settings. Another important thing you need to know is that every driver below 566.03 has serious security vulnerabilities, and I don't personally recommend using them. Now that I made sure you guys stay safe, it's time for the best NVIDIA driver reveal. So let's see what we got here. Most NVIDIA drivers got us around the same average FPS, and it's really hard to tell which one gets the crown just by looking at this. So let's go check the 1% lows. The top performers got us very close results with an average of 323 frames per second. And the driver with the worst 1% lows turned out to be 552.44. Moving on to the 0.2% lows, 566.14 gets the crown with the highest FPS of them all. On the other hand, we had the worst 0.2% lows with driver version 555.99, which suffered a 16% performance decrease, and yeah, it was that bad. But anyway, here's a quick summary of the results. We've got driver 566.14 with two wins and 555.99 with two losses. And here are the driver latencies and the frame times of the best versus the worst driver. Now, let's test the winner's game-ready driver versus the studio version, shall we? Before we continue, I just want to explain what the NVIDIA Studio driver is for those who don't know. This driver is mostly intended for graphic designers, animators, and other types of artists. It's meant to work better with creative applications from Adobe, for example. However, some people report getting more stable results in games, so let's see for ourselves in this case, the Game Ready driver gave us no FPS boost on average, but we've got 8.3% on the 1% lows and 14.8% on the 0.2% lows. This concludes the Game Ready driver is better for gaming, I guess? 
One last thing I wanna mention is, I know I promised to show you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings, but I don't wanna make this video too long. I'm already working on the next one where we'll go over all the settings and test what makes a difference in gaming and what doesn't. In addition to that, we've got huge news. I saw a lot of people requesting AMD benchmarks, so I went ahead and ordered a Ryzen 7 X3D, which actually arrived early today, and I'm so excited to show you guys the results in upcoming videos. I also wanted to say a big thank you for the love and support. We've grown so fast in the past few days, and I'm happy to have you guys here. Anyway, that's all folks. Please like this video so it reaches more people. Leave a comment if you have any questions or video requests, and I'll do my best to get them out to you. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.